thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm going to show you my swatch sheet for the Arteza Fine Point Acrylic Markers. There's something new that Arteza just came out with. They're very thin, slimline, and they have a fine point like this. And the paint that's in them is acrylic. It's fast drying. It's blendable. And this stand does not come with it. This is my stand. So, But here are the beautiful colors in the set of 40. And I've gone ahead and swatched them out. And I'll show you what my swatch sheet looks like. Here's what they look like swatched. And my swatch sheet has the item number, the name, a place where you can do a line swatch, and a place where you can do a solid swatch. And it has all 40 colors. It does have some extra space for write-ins in case they come out with some different colors. But this is the 40 color set of the bright colors, quick drying, low odor, water-based ink, UV resistant, blendable, acid-free, um, and they're the fine point acrylic pens by Arteza. And I normally use Uniposca or Molotow paint pens. I love paint pens. I collect all different brands and kinds, and I use them a lot in art journaling. Um, and I'm quite pleased with these. The price point on them ends up being just a little over a dollar a pen. And they do sell them open stock, which is kind of neat. Um, Arteza is kind of getting the message from their customers that they sell a lot of sets, but then when you use a specific color a lot and you run out of that one color, the only way to replace it is to buy a whole set. Well, these paint pens, they are going to sell open stock. So if you want to go in and just buy a black or white, or they have um, colors like they have silver, gold, and bronze. They have a one gray, a yellow ochre, which doesn't look very yellow, it's very brown, and a Van Dyke brown, which is quite a dark brown. And then here's the greens and their blues. And the interesting thing is like Uniposca are very matte when they dry. These actually are a bit glossy. So if you turn them sideways, you can see on the swatch that they're quite shiny. They're actually a little bit shiny and um, just a hint of gloss, so they're not completely matte, um, which is kind of nice to have a variety of these mixed in with my Posca pens. So that's the other reason why I like to swatch, because then you get a feel for the product. You get to see what the colors look like. You get to see what they look like dry, see what they look like when they're on paper, so you know what they're going to look like when you use them on your artwork. And here's an example of what they look like. So in this um, art journal page that I did. I have a video on this. These are Posca pens in here and of course they dry very matte and today in getting my new uh, Artezas I went back into her hair and I added some colors. So there's three different colors of blue that I went ahead and added in with these new pens and you can see you can get a really super fine line really really nice detail and fine line with them and they're quite pretty and when they dry they're just a touch gloss so that's what they look like using them and they're really pretty so I'm impressed for a dollar a piece um, it's a great thing I think to add to your art supplies so if you're interested in this swatch sheet I'll have a link in the description box below where you can purchase this swatch sheet for a couple of dollars and it's already laid out for you with all the information that you need and then you just go ahead and um, swatch out your own paint pens. Of course the pens aren't included, it's just for the swatch sheet, but I thought if I'm doing all the work I might as well offer this to everybody else to have this swatch sheet if you're using a notebook style swatch system. And I did contact Arteza about how to store them, whether or not they should be standing up or on their side, and they said that their paint pens should be stored standing up. So that's why I put them in this style of a pen holder, because uh, Arteza prefers them to be cap up, standing up. So just thought I would give you that information too. And they did not have a swatch sheet available, so hopefully this will help you out if you like to swatch your art supplies. And I have another video about paint pens. Um, a lot of people tend to have problems with paint pens flooding or skipping, not writing very well, not being able to do good lettering with paint pens because they just um, have a constant fuss with them. And it gives a lot of tips and tricks, so I'll put that in the description box below too. But one, one thing I do want to say is when you're using a paint pen, 
the best tip that I can give you is to be very light-handed. And these, I noticed, the ink or the paint um, is quite thin and it flows really quickly, which is great. You want that because then it doesn't clog the paint pen. But you do not want to push down. So if you continually try to push down or you're heavy-handed when you use a paint pen, the paint is just going to flood that tip and you're going to have a big blob all over your paper. Once you get the get it started and primed, you just want to be light-handed with your pen and just don't even use any pressure. I mean, I, I'm not even, I can hold it really super lightly. Don't use any pressure and look at the nice, beautiful fine lines that you get with this pen. So be light-handed once you get it gone, uh, going and primed. You don't even press down. You just have to hold it in your hand lightly and just move it across your page and you'll get a really nice super fine super fine paint and they do blend because it's acrylic paint you can blend colors and things so these are going to be a lot of fun to play with so check out the Arteza new fine point acrylic markers and I'm not affiliated with Arteza so um, I, this is my own personal opinion on my own personal art supplies so thanks for stopping by and go make some art because art soothes the heart <laughs>